said I was going to do it, so here I am doing it. Today, Bhutan, the Thunder Dragon Kingdom in Hoi for Kaiser Redux. On some other focus tree, there's some random stuff like central authority, military investments. I have no idea what that's all about, so I kind of want to figure out what they can do and if it's like worth playing as Bhutan. I know they only have one focus, uh, one research slot. Absolutely no research speed, so we're off to a great start. Bhutan was always on the periphery of Great Britain's sphere, and when the empire began to collapse, it remained firmly on the periphery. Following the establishment of a socialist republic in Bengal, Bhutanese statesman Sonam Topye Dorji managed to negotiate a stable relationship with the Bariatia commune. Bhutan withdrew from the traditional claims in the Dwars and recognized the commune as an independent nation, and in return, the new syndicalist government in Calcutta continued the Raj's pre-revolution economic investment and recognition of the sovereignty of Bhutan. I just change very soon, because war is on the horizon or something like that, I actually don't know. Wait, oh yeah, we had zero factories as well. Now we have some, that's nice. We can even make guns. The Himalayan powder keg. Since the reign of Krait, Namyal, Bhutan has been ruled by the Zabrung reincarnations, who delegated temporal power to the Druk Desi, elected by the nobles, or Penlops, and the Ye Kenpo, elected by the monks. However, over time, these two leaders have come to conspire to eliminate the power of the Zabdrung, and by the 19th century, the country was firmly in the hands of the Druk Desi and the Ye Kenpo. So, we're losing control, and we need to reform it somehow. Absolute central authority. Enormous military investments and enormous industrial investments. Okay, how do I do that? Oh, 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 the Treaty of Puencholing. As the revolution in India reached a grinding stalemate, the tiny kingdom of Bhutan was forced to make a difficult choice. Long supported by British administration, it seemed only natural for the monarchy of Punaka to continue to reinforce their Windsor counterparts. On the other hand, the days of British hegemony in India seemed more than numbered and a small cabal of ministers and nobles began to open channels of communication with the young Indian Republic. Okay, we will have to make a choice at some point, huh? Dorji returns, and with that, we get some central authority. Is there a way for us to see what our authority is? I don't know, I don't think so. Oh, damn it, our authority is now even lower, and there's a revolt going on. Do we want to protect the king, or be steady as it goes you know what for now i'll, I'll, I'll mm, i don't want to lose uh, that i'll uh say there's no need for changes and just to see what happens i want to favor the national populists i think how like, can we make like pretty much two guns a month that is sad a large number of communities are marching you know what? yes we will send a force north to meet them i want to see what happens i'm also gonna do this so i don't lose the manpower I'll send the men north, boom. It was like it was a free decision. Because we don't have that much manpower, man. Every little bit counts. Strange reports from the south. Ask Sonam Top, top Gye to personally investigate. Sure, why not? And now we're gonna send our air abroad. Sure. Whatever you say, buddy. We keep losing manpower and authority. What the hell? There we go. At least that way we don't lose the manpower of the whole 32 units. Uh, King Yigme will lead the army. Anything for extra central authority, man. Oh, there we go. The king must act. We need to improve our central authority. God damn it. March on Talo. Our army has been harassed consistently since turning south, and the hope of catching our opponent off guard has been dashed. There's nothing we can do with our researches. It's, it's horrendous, man. While the king's army outnumbered those within the monastery by hundreds of men, and is armed with small arms and a cannon, it has become increasingly clear that an open confrontation would be devastating both to the royal army and Jigmis credibility. Even more worrying are the conflicts beginning between the mercenaries loyal to Sonam and a number of Tsering Spaniards levies. Okay, are we gonna die? Is that what's happening? Yamcho presents a solution. Now we have no choice but to take it. Oh, Yigmi got ambushed. The king incoherent and incapacitated. All eyes have turned to Penyor to avenge the king in an assault against the monastic fortress. Jesus, I feel like we're gonna perish. End of the royal coalition. Uh-oh. I feel like it's getting worse and worse, man. Abysmal. Our central authority is pretty much in the gutter. Treachery from all... Dude, everything is just falling apart. Oh, there we go, at least. Monasteries recognize Jabdrung. The monastery of Bhutan have long made up the base of support for Yigme, the central monastic body led by a council of five Lopen Rinpoches and the powerful Ye Kenpo is possibly the single strongest political force in the kingdom of Bhutan. While initially it appeared that the Zandrung had only garnered support from the lower ranked members of the massive theological apparatus, 
In the days following the destruction of the king, three of the Lopen masters began expressing their quiet support for the young Zhang Drong, while the most senior Lopem and Yi Ken Po have both remained silent on the matter. Okay, okay. National populism comes back. We got some authority. It's Is it still abysmal? Uh, it's still abysmal. We'll see if it stays that way. Oh, the Zhang Drong ascendant. We have become national populists. I think I failed accidentally and got exactly what I wanted out of it somehow. Because I was kind of looking forward to going to the national populist route. So, I mean, here I am. We've still got abysmal central authority, but eh, that can be fixed. Maybe. Even more central authority. Oh, perfect. It's feeble now, but that's okay. We're also getting rid of the aftermath of the revolt, which will hopefully set our stability back to a proper amount. Above 40 Preferably. Wait, we make nine guns a year sometimes. That's... Ooh. The hell, man. Our industry is incredibly powerful. This is definitely a world conquest nation, huh? Oh, and here, show our strength. We can raid our neighbors. I... Kinda wanna do that just to see what that does. Can we just straight up attack our boys? Look at that. We got weak central authority, which is still horrific. But I don't think it's ever been this good. Oh, and here we can also manage central authority. I definitely want that. We're still isolationist. I'm guessing in some focus, we'll be able to remove that. Ideally, I'd like to maybe attack into tibet because they seem to be having their hands full currently and raid them a little bit but for that we need guns and more importantly actually uh some pointages i guess maybe army breakthrough would be nice to have we will i think purge impure yeah mm, do i really want that actually now that i think about it let's focus on the rest first no i will not promote secular administrators i will enforce monastic primacy which will give me two extra central authority once it's done i'm guessing right oh we do have to decentralize that's kind of annoying sure i guess we have no choice because for this one we need the unifying king which we did not go for all right fair enough. we'll lose some central authority with that but that's okay renovating our jongs i do kind of want both yeah damn it it didn't click. It just disappeared on its own. I don't want that. Get back. I don't know what it all does, so I'm just gonna take the decisions that speak to me the most. Yeah, why not both? Sure, it costs a lot of PP, but still. Two Zubdrungs. No, that's too much. Actually, do we need that? No, I don't think we need it for anything, so uh, two Zubdrungs are too many. I'd prefer to have my authority instead. I love when decisions give me PP. With this, I'm thinking I'm gonna invest it into something that gives me experience instead. So I'm gonna go for the breakthrough, I'm, I'm guessing. All the, mm, no, breakthrough. 0 0.06 is just fine. Oh, and here we can also do the economic development. That's nice. Just a shame we can't really see it anywhere. What, what is? Go for this. Actually, yeah. Decisive battle. That gives me 0.12. That's always nice to have. We're almost there. I, I want to raid Tibet. Because if something happens, you know, I'm, I'm, I see my chances being way higher with uh, with fighting Tibet than uh, the Bariatia commune. Oh, there we go. Raid Tibet. Just want to know what happens. I hope we can get some PP out of them. Some guns. Just something. Three more days. Okay, well, it um, didn't seem to have done anything for us. Oh, there we go. We ride north. Let's go. Oh, it actually improved the fruits of our might. Interesting. I think I'll do that again then on Enya this time. Hoping for a similar result. Let's go. Just to see what happens, right? We, um, I'm gonna save just in case because India, you know, is a different beast from Tibet. We ride north or we ride forth rather. I want to see what happens. What if we just get our ass kicked completely? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> we might just get our ass kicked completely. Yeah, no, there's no way we can survive this. So uh, let me just load up and see. Let's try it a couple of times, see what happens, right? There we go. Click the decision again. Another war. Is that set like that or not? I, I want to try like a handful more times just to see if it works. If not, I might have to let the sleeping tiger sleep a little more. Yeah, I've tried it like 10 times at this point. They keep declaring war every single time. I think I'm going to have to let the sleeping tiger sleep a little more i don't know if we can like run it back again with the raid but we'll have to see maybe we can do that decision at a later date if we uh decide to leave him be instead so far it seems to be gone oh we can get a civilian economy in here incredible well there we go i do need central authority give me that please We're still on a weak central authority but that's okay a petition from Kabul. you know what fuck it i'll join the alliance with the kabul pact it seems stupid so obviously i had to join it's just me, Afghanistan, and uh, Azerbaijan. The three great powers of the world. Oh, we get a research slot. Incredible. Let's also fund local leaders to get more economic development. I mean, we keep losing central authority. We just have to... Yeah, we're back to feeble. Maybe it's just not meant to be, huh? Yeah, fill the ranks with loyalists. 
Extra central authority. Perfect. Oh, now Muscat has joined. Dude, this is such a random alliance, isn't it? Just scattered throughout the world. Some random schmucks joined the Kabul Pact. Also, as soon as I have enough experience, I'm getting the ideological loyalty. We have no manpower, pretty much. 500 a week. That's like 2k a month. Still fairly early into the campaign, so we'll get our money's worth out of that. Wait, are we out of... Um... Okay, we're somewhat out of the focuses for the time being. Just need to improve our central authority a little bit more to at least be moderate now we can continue on i'm gonna get the civilian economy in and that will hopefully improve our political power game as well 0.15 a day it'll make a difference wait oh sikkim was also joined into the alliance that's perfect we got moderate industrial investments now that is nice i think as soon as we have a hundred I will get myself some more monastic primacy. It's pretty much what I'm gonna just bump my points into. Now Nepal has also joined. Okay, the Kabul Pact is expanding sizably, so that's nice. Let's go monastic primacy once more. I think that should give us moderate at least, right? We've bumped ourselves up quite nicely at this point. Afghanistan is fighting. Oh, interesting. They're fighting Persia for some reason, huh? Oh, and uh, East Turkestan is also part of uh, the Kabul Pact, huh? Interesting. Oh, we finally have it address the military that means we have medium yeah moderate central authority it's not that great still we have like absolutely no research speed but whatever got a new unit ready to pop out and ideological loyalty Ooh, we're gonna have such a massive army now well not really we only have three dudes and it, it's a trash tier look at this what kind of army is that gonna yeah and the great purchase it's i'm kind of done with it. i do think i am gonna go and continue to drafting plans because we need we need a good economic policy too right we need absolute central authority enormous military investments and enormous industrial investments oh uh, no never mind it's just we don't actually need the economic policy then i'll just focus on uh, the central authority for now advisors protest new projects no i will continue with this because i don't want to lose economic development look at that we have extensive industrial investments now and strong central authority. I like how the world's pretty much like turning to shit. Meanwhile, I'm just here trying to build up my country. I'm playing tall with my two whole factories. Absolutely incredible. Sad, I'm also gonna do the draft plans. I'm getting enough events for political power as is, so where I think eventually I'll be able to get my authority up high enough. Oh, the Duranium. Interesting. I shouldn't have declared a two-front war, Russia. Now we're gonna actually lose. Should have at least done and dealt with uh, Eastern Russia. After that, you probably could have handled the German faction. But no, they just had to declare a two-front war. Ooh, more central authority. I love those absolutes. Ooh, that's actually exactly what I need. Right? I'll start with the... Funding of local leaders, because there's a few more things that give me... Cancel this. We'll go down here, because that'll give me one military investment. Actually, never mind. This one gives me two. But that should hopefully be enough. Then we can focus on the economic and the authority part instead. One local leaders has been done. We're still not quite there. <sighs> I do wonder if we can ever confront Sikkim. That would be nice. I'd love to have Sikkim under my control. But I don't think that's actually possible, huh? And by the time that we get to do some kind of focus... So it's only 1940. Back to the research focuses oh research research i guess <laughs> one day we'll get rid of the central authority debuff now let's go in here get the military investment i think we're gonna once again fund the local leaders right because we don't really get a, a, as many economic events but we do get central authority events so once we do that i think we'll go away from extensive to overwhelming or however much it is enormous industrial investments then we can focus again on our authority as we go down the focus street that hopefully will give us more military investments yeah we currently have meager military investment that's not great we need more god damn it not feeling this accord interesting they also dismantled the moscow accord with that huh there we go enormous industrial investments good so that means we get one in here next up i will enforce my monastic primacy also, I have more PP. Oh, the Duranis have declared war on the Istanbul court as well? God damn. I'm happy I'm not part of that war. Jeez, I don't want to deal with that. But it seems like the Duranis are winning, though. I mean, the Ottomans were already losing even before the Kabul Pact got involved. I like how I talk about the Kabul Pact as if I'm not a part of it. I am a part of it. I just, uh... I see myself as a pacifist when it suits me. But yeah, my good friends, they can go and deal with all that. I don't care. There's not even any breathing room for me to come in, huh? You go, Afghanistan. Take care of the Ottomans. I believe in you. Or something like that. Now the Germans are declaring war on the Russians. Didn't you already win a war? Let's get towards our final military investment in here. We're already on moderate. 
with that we'll be at a high and i think one bump up we need 50 more points and we should be at the end you're done i can i guess get some extra manpower but i think i won't for the time being i'm just gonna save up some points to get better um to equip my local militias a bit better if i'm done with that i will continue with my economic policy oh one day this country will be usable we got a lot of bonuses but also like a, a billion debuffs so I don't know, man. I don't know what to think so far. Oh, wait, wait. I saw a peace deal. Okay. <laughs> because of the peace deal, my boys got fucked over hard, huh? Surely they should have received Persia itself. They should have. Oh, and before I forget, local militias. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the, what the hell does this look like? I mean, at least the People's Revolutionary Army is pretty big now. Fall of Russia, they say. This is this looks disgusting, man. Okay, we got extensive military investments now. I think we need one final push, and then we'll be exactly where we need to be to finally have complete control over Bhutan. Did the Rani have a claim all the way into the Ottoman lands? That's surprising. Should play as the Durrani then. Some that is insane. All the way into Central Asia too. Well, parts of it at least. East Turkestan. Every, anything even remotely Turkic, I guess. Anyway, equip local militias one final time. And that should be enough. Still not there? Well, no, we do have all the enormous blah, blah, blahs. No, I, I think we did it. Now we can finally do what was always meant to happen. Give every child a gun. Oh, what the hell? How did Sikkim grow? And why did they grow? I like how the Tibetan Makli War is still going on to this day. It just is never gonna stop. There you go. I think we pretty much finished our entire focus tree. And was, as you can see, we became an absolute superpower with massive amounts of manpower, massive amounts of factories. Yeah. <laughs> it was an interesting playthrough, but I don't know. I feel like there's certainly room for improvement. So I think that this is pretty much it for this campaign. You know, it was interesting to go through the whole spiel. And maybe, you know what, actually, before I finish it off, I want to I, I wanna at least, like, finish off the, the economic policy just to see what, what comes of it. Actually, never mind. It's just uh, a civilian factory and a military factory. So, no, I think I'll just leave it be for this. So, I do hope you've enjoyed this one. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Um, hopefully, I'll see you next time. And hopefully, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.